me, yeah But something went wrong, the signals got crossed And now we're on completely different pages Today we're gonna get down, we're gonna break down some words As to what is the standard of being ugly Because a lot of us, including myself, we are using words And we don't really understand what we're saying We're just using it very loosely And there's repercussions behind these words And... <laughs> She got me tight right now. <laughs> I got me super tight right now. Hey, India. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, Miss Cynthia. How are you? Um, So I was driving home. Well, let me go back. Um, You guys know I'm on my fitness journey and stuff like that. I do everything for me. I don't ever do anything for anybody. I don't care what any, how anyone views me, what they think of me. That's not my concern. Like I always say, what people think of you has nothing to do with you, right? So as I'm realizing that I'm starting to get smaller, I'm starting to get toned and things like that, I start to see more of men coming in droves. And I'm like, okay, I know what I can offer. I have a lot. I am successful. I'm happy. I'm healed emotionally, physically, mentally, everything. I'm completely healed. Um, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. So I know, and et cetera, et cetera. So I know I have a lot to offer, right? But the thing is, something was like, look up the definition, the etymology of ugly. And look up the definition or the etymology of standard. Let's get into this. So, hold on. Because I'm trying to figure out who was the spokesperson, who, who's the people that created this to tell us we have to follow a certain type of standard or norm, Right? So first things first, let me ask you guys this before I give y'all the answer. In your definition, in your point of view, your perception, what do you believe is the definition of ugly? Can somebody type that down for me? Because I just want to see where you guys are, and then I'm going to go ahead and discuss what I found um, in regards to this word. So in your own words, what do you believe is the definition of ugly? If y'all could just type that down for, below for me, because we're going to get into this, because this is crazy. <laughs> anybody there's no right or wrong answer just anybody what is the definition of ugly in your point of view and your perception nobody <laughs> uh, where is the other word all right while y'all doing that let me look up this other word etymology Something displeasing to the eye and soul. Okay, far enough. So as I've done my extensive research, because you guys know I like to break down words, being unattractive in any form. Okay, understandable. Okay, so you guys know that I am very big when it comes to breaking down the terminology when it comes to uh, words, right? And it's very important for us to really understand the English language, the English words, and the English letters, okay? Because this was created in the way to keep us down. Hear me out here, okay? I'm going with this, okay? So, you guys are saying, Ashley says, the definition of ugly is something displeasing to the eye and soul, okay? India stated, being unattractive in any form, perfect. Miss Cynthia says, displeasing inwardly, okay? And Christy says, when a person is mean or evil, I say they have an ugly heart. Okay, fool, fine. That's all you guys' is perception, and I have to respect that, okay? But the real definition or the etymology, etymology is basically when you are literally breaking down the word to see where the origin of that word came from, okay? So with that in mind, the definition of ugly is to be dreaded or fear. When I broke down the word, the etymology of the word ugly, ugly it states that the origin comes from old norse right it's middle english and it basically states that if you are ugly you are supposed to be dreaded or fear so if you're calling yourself ugly i don't feel good today i look ugly i look a mess are you fearing yourself are you dreading yourself if someone else it does not look the way that maybe they don't look presentable to you, they may look a little bit different to you and you call them ugly, are you supposed to dread or fear someone because of their ugly? Can we make this make sense? 
So when you call yourself ugly, you're literally dreading and fearing yourself. And when I say fear, remember what I said about fear and belief, right? Because it's a belief system. Fear equals or equates to facts, uh, false evidence appearing real. So who's calling you ugly? Why would you want to use that vocabulary in your everyday life? Are you really ugly here? Do you really fear yourself? Do you really dread yourself? And if the question is yes, you got work to do. You got, you got a lot of work to do. This day forward, do not call yourself ugly. You're not ugly. You may be different. You may not look like the, the whoever, the, 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 the standard, right? The, the, the European standard, we're going to call it what it is. Right? The European standard because they want us, and I'm speaking more to my black, my black women because I that's who I can relate to, okay? So this ain't no shade or anything to anybody else who's watching, but this is more so for my black and brown women and men as well. Okay. We are so society is so fixated, especially on black and brown people, to call us ugly, to say that we look a certain way. If we don't, if we have too much hips, it's too much for us. If we have too much muscles, it's too much for us. If we are plump, we have thick lips, we have full filled lips, we are considered ugly. We're considered this, we're considered that. No more of that. To hell with society norm. Okay, I'm about to really blow your brain with this one now. So as we get into that, <clears throat> the definition of standard, okay, I broke down the definition of standard and that is the etymology of standard. Hold on, I just had it. Mm, I just had it, hold on. The definition of standard is to literally stand firm and stand hard. So we really out here holding on, we're standing firm of this societal standard. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. A standard, an ugly society or ugly standard is for me to dread or fear myself. And I have to stand firm on it because that's what I believe. Do y'all understand this? Does this make sense to y'all? The English dictionary, if you utilize it in a proper way, can it can make you or it can break you. And that's some things that I have been realizing with the way I love words. I love the way it looks. Sometimes certain words just like pop out to me and I always have to go and do my own, you know, my independent research to kind of see what it is. Who taught y'all to hate yourself? Who taught y'all to call yourself ugly? society because we all know society is not for us society is against us it was a very it took me a very long time people would be like oh you should wear red in your hair i'm like oh no that girl that would look ugly why would i wear that you should wear green you should wear blue you should wear orange you should wear red no girl i'm too dark for that this is a learned behavior that needs to be unlearned there's nothing ugly about you there's nothing ugly about you. There's nothing to dread or fear about yourself. We have to learn how to step into our own power and do what we feel is best for us. We can no longer go by societal norms, societal standards, because standard, the etymology of standard is for you, is to stand firm on something. So I'm going to stand firm on being ugly. I'm far from that. I'm not ugly. Jimmy Alice is not ugly. Ashley is not ugly. LaDonna is not ugly. None of us are. We are all beautiful in our own unique way, no matter how that may look to you. Short hair, long hair, curly, kinky hair, thick lips, big lips, small lips, big nose, broad nose, dark skin, light skin. You are beautiful in your own way. You have to step out of the society norm. It's not working for us. It's not for us. It's against us. I'm very passionate about this because y'all know how I feel about self-love. I don't play about self-love and self-confidence, especially with my black and brown people. I root for y'all very, very strong. You may not see it as much. I do stuff behind the scene, but I root for y'all all the way through. If I see anything that is positive, I'm, po I'm resharing, I'm posting. I don't do any type of that low vibrational and I'm not doing any of that stuff. All I want to see is uplifting positive things about us. It is time that we change the narrative about this. Again, I'm going to repeat just in case if you guys didn't hear, okay? 
the definition of standard, or sorry, the definition of, hold on. Hold on. Ugly. Ugly, if you break down the etymology of the word, right? Ugly came from Old Norse, and it means, it's Middle English, it means to be dreaded or to fear. What do you fear about yourself? Why do you allow other people to fear you based on what society is telling us how we should be? We can't be too loud. We're too loud. We're, we're unattractive. If we are too small, we're weak. We always have something. It's, it's a game if you do, damn if you don't. It's, we have to change this narrative. Let me see. I agree, LaDonna. I absolutely agree. If something is not to the eyes, pleasant or soft to the eyes, it's automatically deemed ugly, and that's not always the case. But the thing is, some, all of us, all of us, or the majority of us, we are ignorant because we don't take the time to break down the etymology of words. Yes, including myself. Because I have had some moments, moments, plenty of moments where you, you know, you have your day. You're like, dang, I feel real ugly today. Not realizing you dreading your own self. I'm not doing that no more. You ain't got to do that either. Society is very hard on black and brown people. Because they know who we are. They know who we are. And they terrified of that. That's why they go so hard for us to separate us, to divide us, to make sure we don't know who we are. Y'all need to stand the fuck up. Who are you? What is, who are you? What's your truth? Your truth is going to be different from mine's. My truth is going to be different from yours. That's okay. Stand in your truth, y'all. Standard. I'm going back to the word standard. Standard is from Old Frankish, whatever that is. Stand hard literally means to stand firm, stand hard. So we're standing hard on ugly societal norms. Again, fear is a belief system. What do you believe about yourself? So the next time somebody call you ugly... There's nothing to fear about you. You're beautiful. Whatever that may look like. Straight teeth, crooked teeth, a gap in the middle, no teeth on the side. Whatever that may look like to you. You're not ugly. You're not ugly. And please, guys, don't take this the wrong way. This is more so just for my black and brown people. Because we they need this uplifting moment at this, at this time. So please allow me to just... Focus on them, okay? Y'all not ugly. There's nothing wrong with your hair. It's kinky. It's too short. It's dry. It's this. It's beautiful. What is your standard of beauty? Let me look up the word beauty. Let me just see what the definition of beauty is. I didn't look that one up. Let's see. How to ting this boy? Hold on. All right, so the definition of beauty is basically what it says. It's, it's, comes, it's Latin, and the breakdown, breakdown of that is physical attractiveness, goodness, courtesy, beauty. Okay, so instead of us saying ugly, moving forward, there's nothing ugly about you. There's nothing, nothing to fear about you. There's nothing to dread about you. Okay, you're beautiful in your own way. The standard, your standard, should be what you want it to be, not what society has taught us it should be. Society has never been on our side. And society makes sure they drill all these different things. Oh, you don't, if you don't have a round face, if you don't have a flat nose, if you don't have thin lips, if you don't have this, you don't have that, you're not considered beauty. I struggled with that for a very long time. I struggled with that for a very long time. Because I didn't understand. 
using the English words and language can literally make or break you the way that you operate. Get into the habits of breaking down words. Where does this come from? Why does this feel this way? Okay, let me get the definition. Let me make my own discovery and see if that fits what I want it to fit as. Let's look up the word norm. I just want to see. <laughs> the norm the definition of norm the etymology of norm is a rule or pattern so let me put this all together now we have an ugly standard of society norm society wants you to dread fear stand firm of that in this rule or pattern so you created this pattern. You created this rule in your reality. Throw that shit out. Throw it out. You no longer need that anymore. You do not need that anymore. The next time society attempts to break you down, flip them off and say, F you. I'm going to stand in my own standards. I'm going to stand firm in my belief system. I'm not going to fear myself. I would never, ever dread myself. For what? And maybe this is the correlation as to why so many of us always looking for outside validation. Maybe that is the correlation as to why we always looking for, how you think this look? Is this cute? Is this beauty? Is this ugly? Maybe that's why I would have to do my own research, deeper research to see. But I, I kind of feel like, yes, that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. Everything's all interconnected and interwoven together. We're not realizing that. Moving forward. Whatever you believe, you believe, your system created especially for you whatever you believe stand firm standard in that whatever it is whatever it is don't worry about them peoples don't worry about what's on tv if you want to wear purple lipstick in your dark wear it if you are lighter and you want to wear orange lipstick wear it you set the tone for how you're going to live your life, not society. If you want to do BBL, and that's on you. Hey, more power to you. But make sure you're making the decision and not society. That's where we get tripped up at. Because we're so hung up, we're so judgmental on what the other person is doing, we're not worrying about what we need to be doing for ourselves. So when we see people like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, things like that, a lot of women aspire to be that way because society states that's the norm. That's not the norm. Maybe it's the norm for them and that's fine. But what's the norm for you? What's your norm? Create your norm. Don't worry about what other people got to say about you. If your norm is going to, going to the gym and staying, staying fit, Rock out. If your norm is being slightly thick or thicker with hips and ass and thick lips, stand in that. That's your norm. That's your standard. If you don't create the rules to your reality, you're opening up yourself for a lot of unnecessary things, unnecessary situations. Because again, you're allowing, and this is also a form of power and control, you're relinquishing your control and your power to people that don't look like you. Does that make sense? Y'all can share this live for anyone that can resonate with this. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that can resonate with this. This is something that's going to be very triggering. And that's fine because y'all know what I'm here for. I'm here to trigger you in a very positive way. Whatever your norm is. Whatever your truth is, stand in it.
we waiting for it. Whatever that is. They were talking about that girl. I don't have um, cable, so I literally have like Hulu, Netflix, and I think Amazon. I don't have cable. And when I sit down and watch TV, it's more so like the older cartoons and stuff like that. Because I really don't care about loving hip-hop and all that. That's not me, okay? And I just don't care for it, right? And as I'm sitting down, I'm like, well, dang, they push and they push and they push and they push. You got to have this. No, you can't do this. You got to have a baby by this time. You, you got to be married by this time. There's always pressure. Let's look at what pressure is. Let's look up pressure. Let's look up the etymology of pressure. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> pressure. The etymology of the word pressure is the action of pressing to press, hold fast, cover, crowd, or compress. Who are you trying to pressure into your standard of society or your standard, your norm of society? Don't allow anyone to pressure, push, press, hold fast, cover, crowd, or compress you. No. You don't live life contained in a box. You live life outside of that box. That's where real life lives. That's where real life, that's when you can really start to live in your truth, outside of this box. Society wants us in this box. They don't want us to know who we are. They don't want us to go within ourselves. They always want us to depend on something or someone. So because Nicki Minaj is who's, Nick, who's Nicki Minaj, because Cardi B is who's Cardi B, we have to follow that. If they want to look like that, that's their prerogative. That's their norm. That's their standard. But who's to say that's their standard for all of us? Step into your power. Step into your standards. Whatever that is. And again, if I have triggered you... My job is done, y'all. I told you I'm bringing this heat. I'm here to shift this narrative. I'm here to disrupt the pattern. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, mo a wonderful, wonderful morning, a wonderful day, a wonderful Monday. You're not ugly. No more fearing, no more dreading yourself. Stand firm. Stand firm in your reality.